All right, Homesteader family. So I finally got my Casco de-icer that I ordered that got all messed up with shipping uh, that I bought off of eBay. But the seller was really good, got everything taken care of. Um, UPS was really good. They called me up. The guy gave me his cell number uh, for future issues, if there are any, and I, or if I want to let them know I've got a package coming or something like that. Uh, since the property is in Cotopaxi, but the address is address to Canyon City. So it's a weird kind of mix up. I have to put Canyon City for the mailing, uh, but for the shipping, uh, it has to go into a Cotopaxi truck. So they're adding stuff to their um, system to hopefully um, avoid that in the future. But I just want to go ahead and go over this with you. So basically, it's a Casco de-icer water agitator. I got the three-quarter horsepower. I probably could have done with a uh, half. But I'll go into my reasons in a bit. So for those of you that want to see this, um, the Casco de-icer was in a movie about saving gray whales in Alaska, like I've said before. But this gives you a little bit of information on that. And I'm just going to go through real quick. I mean, you can pause it and read everything if you want to do that later. But basically, what I did was they have four sections on uh, the temperatures, what size you need, how big of an area. So I went ahead. I went with the coldest area, which is the temperature up in the Great Lakes. And uh, so it's got to be colder than negative 20. And since we do hit negative 40, negative 50s up here with wind chill, I figured just go with the Great Lakes and uh, that should be fine. So if I did the three-quarter horsepower just standing straight up uh, on the pond bottom, it would uh, defrost a 45-foot circle area. And if I went ahead and put it slanted, it would give me a 25 by 50. And then, of course, the pond is only like 35, 40 foot wide. So that's going to be close to opening the whole pond. And then, of course, the warmer days, 30 by 75, 30 by 80, and 35 by 125. Now, the pond's 325 feet long. Uh, but, I mean, heck, if I can get a minimum of 50 by 25, that is plenty of space uh, to keep a buffer zone uh, from the ducks and the geese from uh, any potential predators or anything like that. And another thing I want to do is um, say my pond is long way like this. I'm going to have it this way, halfway down, blowing water towards this end. I want to keep the deep end of the pond thawed out and the shallow end I'm going to let free solid because I like going and sliding across the ice and uh, the goats and the dogs like to run out on the ice too so i want to make sure i keep a little kind of uh, ice skating rink for all of us to have fun on in the winter uh, but you can buy different things like uh, a floater where it keeps it on the surface and floats around um it produce it does all this different type of stuff like i said you can pause it and uh, read everything in the pause video and then, of course, they have control panels, dock mounts, extra propellers, zinc and nodes, and all that type of stuff. And there's just, they got 50 year history and all that type of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the camera set up on a tripod and I'm going to unbox this and I'll show you what it looks like. And then, of course, you're seeing next uh, several videos or so. Uh, hopefully, it works like it's supposed to work. Like I said, it's they're made for docks in the ocean so it's uh supposed to be built really well to withstand uh salt water and that type of stuff so freshwater pond i think i should have success we're gonna find out i'll be right back all right so here we go i'm gonna open this up check it out and uh, like i said tomorrow i'll be taking this over since the pond is frozen solid now because uh, I didn't have time yesterday to unthaw it uh, with the water pump generator. And I'm hoping this will uh, be able to run off of my inverter that I put on the battery of the truck. If not, I'll have to bring the generator down 
and uh, use the generator to run it until I can get the electricity done. So tons of padding. That's really nice to see and uh, double thick cardboard. So they take care of everything. We've got a 25 foot extension cord. We got all the manuals. And then we got another double coated thing of cardboard. And then here's the beauty. And it's heavy. They're not light whatsoever. So, it's got this big bottom cushion. Like I said, I mean, that's some nice, strong, sturdy stuff. So, Casco, like I said, for my research, is top of the line. I paid like $575 roughly for this. Uh, so, they're not cheap. But, like I said, you know, you can go cheap and have to constantly replace stuff. Or you can buy top of line to start with and uh, it will last a lifetime or hopefully it last last a lifetime uh, but it comes with two 20 foot 20 foot ropes so what I'm gonna do is I, I've been out on the deep end of the pond I'm gonna go ahead I, I've walked on it had all three dogs and goats and me and the ice is solid so I'm gonna take a um, a sludge hammer and a pickaxe and I'm gonna pop open a hole that this will fit down in and then I'll go ahead and drop this down inside the deep end of the pond and I'll use these to tie off to shore uh, so that way I can pull out the water uh, when I need to and uh, that's gonna be that so it's got a zinc uh, thing right here that they say to buy uh, that keeps this ground it so it doesn't uh, accumulate stuff or deteriorate so I don't think I'm gonna need one as bad as what you need in the ocean but it looks like it's gonna be a good unit I mean like I said heavy duty ropes heavy duty cord 25 feet will get me to the power box that I'm gonna put on the dam uh, by the edge of the pond and fingers crossed that this knocks everything out and this will make winter a heck of a lot easier being able to take care of the animals than uh, going out and breaking ice by hand. So this is all rubberized, uh, nice heavy duty zip ties on there. I mean, it's just very nice, very beautiful unit. Uh, like I said, heavy, heavy duty. And uh, these are, like I said, t supposed to be top of line. And uh, we're going to find out. So hope everybody has a great night. And I'll talk to you guys later. All right. So I'm here at the ranch. I just got the feed put out for the guineas and the chickens, the ducks, and the geese. Of course, all the pigs are upset because they haven't been fed yet. So everybody's waiting. But instead of feeding them, I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, the three-quarter horsepower Casco uh, water de-icer uh, that I bought that is used in the ocean uh, by the docks uh, to keep the ice from thawing or from freezing around the docks and damaging the docks. So you can see where the ducks and the geese are. It's a small little area and you can see the ice floating there uh, down towards the bottom of the screen and you can see the de-icer going to work. So before I got this, I had a water pump generator I purchased. It did like 4,000 gallons an hour. That was helping some, but I couldn't really do much. So what I did was I went ahead, brought my generator down from the camper, hooked up a small barbecue propane tank so I could run it. And you can see it's pushing so much water, it's pushing dirt up on the ice there. And this whole area, the ice is getting uh, thin really quick and it's just eating it away. And... It said I could have got away with a half horsepower pump. You can see there, I turned it off. It's underneath the water. But I went ahead, I got a three-quarter horse just for extra power. And I mean, look at that. I mean, it's showing the water up about two, two and a half feet up in the air. So, not only will it be used for de-icing the pond, but come spring, uh, when the water's not flowing, 
I'm going to use this pump or this pump to go ahead and aerate the pond because look at all those bubbles it's creating. All that air it's uh, put into the water and you can see all that ice is splitting all the way around. It's going to melt and I want to go with anything else besides this. I mean this thing has done amazing. This is video of the first day but I've used this four days already.